was really a mom's ashes? It's strange, right? It's strange. Are you lost? No, my mom works in the cafeteria. And she said I could come up here and look for Dr. Sloan. Do you know him? Um, can you take care of him? Oh, man, you would not believe what just happened to me. There's a uh, kid looking for you. What? Daddy? What? <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Thanks. I'll be getting you back for that. Looking forward to it. <sighs> You're not my father. But I am hoping to build the symbios. You found him. You two know each other? You know his parents? His mom works in the cafeteria. What's all this? It's letters from the kids in my class. Letters to me. He has the internal structure to hear. He just doesn't have a canal on the external structure. So I thought if I came in with my letters, Dr. Sloan might feel sorry for me and do the surgery for free. Oh, look, I'd like to help. I would if I could, but pro bono surgery. You should probably know that on my way here this morning, three different people thought I was in a costume. My head looks like a prominent Halloween costume. Just thought you should know that. They're good. Pro bono surgery is not just about me giving you my time. Uh, surgery like this requires OR time, anesthesiologist, a general surgeon to remove the cartilage from your ribs, at least two surgical nurses. Couldn't you ask them for help? I could, but I don't have any social capital. The nurses hate me. They formed a club that's all about hating me. And the other doctors don't owe me any favors because I've never done any for them. I'm sorry. I wish I could help. I would if I could. I have social capital. Or I don't. Nobody knows me, but they knew my mother. So maybe I can make this happen. Fine, make it happen. You manage that, I'm all yours. These people who knew your mother, did they know you wanted to work in a baggie? I have an earless boy. I'm sorry? Richard Sloan has agreed to build him ears pro bono. If you will donate the OR and all the equipment... I'm sorry, Gray, my pro bono slate is full. There are protocols to be followed, all sorts of red tape. Twig or treat? Get it. He's trick-or-treating for years. Gray. You know, my mother, she was big on pro bono surgeries. OR2 is free at 6 p.m. Thank you. She's pretty. Yeah, I like cheerful people. I can be cheerful. I think the ashes thing makes that kind of unlikely. Dr. Bailey, we're gonna help uh, rebuild a little boy's ears today, pro bono. And I thought maybe you could donate some time. Trick or treat. For ears. He's trick or treating for ears. Yeah. Could you also persuade some of the surgical nurses to help out? They seem to really like you. Trick or treat. Stop that. All right, I'm in. I have an earless boy waiting for me. OK, so we have one plastic surgeon, a general surgeon, an anesthesiologist, three scrub nurses, and an OR. Let's call your mom, kid. You're gonna get some ears. You know, I'm impressed. I didn't think you'd pull this off. I'm actually pretty surprised myself, considering it was my first time trick-or-treating. Your first time? Yeah, my mom never made it home in time to take me. Never got it together to make me a costume. Look at that. Isn't that a bad day's work? I just helped build a little boy some ears. That's cool. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm here late at night, Halloween, helping an earless boy get ears. And my husband wants to act like that in an important thing. Mr. Gray? Hi. I had a goldfish, and when he died, they flushed him down the toilet, back to the sea. Okay. Back 